fourth day we went back to the same area we were on the day before and sure enough got out of the truck and lots of bugling and uh, we kind of went down through this thick area to try to get a little bit of an opening we had some bulls walking close to us but couldn't quite see them or get them on film through the, the valley and up the other side and we kept hearing this bull bugle, bugle further down the canyon and a couple times and I believe we got it on video where he just kind of had a, a growl didn't really bugle much and I knew he was coming up the ridge so we kind of got set up for him and sure enough he walked right up to us He had a busted royal on his right side, so we decided to pass on that one. But that was an awesome looking bull, but just had broken points. down there to another canyon that's kind of off to our right and uh, they were just screaming in there I don't know there could have been six or seven eight different bulls and they're bugling
way down through the timber. We had to stay high because of the private property down below. And uh, we called in this funky looking bull that had, we never, I don't think we got him on film, but he, his right side, he had a brow tine. <clears throat> and then past the brow tine, the antler was just busted off solid. So I noticed that coming through the trees, and then on his right side he had the brow tine, and then the second tine he had a big long club coming out with a fork on the end. And then it went out to I think a fifth point, but his fifth point was hanging off to the side, which at that point would be his main beam, but it was just funky. And I told Chad not, he had a broadside shot, and I told him not to shoot it. I don't want to pack that thing out of here. It's an awesome bull, Chris thought we should shoot it because it would be kind of unique, but we decided to pass on him. We kept having this other bull to our left bugle, and uh, so we, we moved this one more time and got a little bit closer to him, and, and uh, we used the rangefinder and stepped it off. It's at exactly 100 yards, 101, right close to that. And he walked out of the opening. There was kind of a clearing between us, and he walked out just on the edge of the opening. And uh, Chad was going to shoot him right here in the chest, and he shot. And you can see on the video, he just clipped the hair on his neck. Uh, you can see dust pop, puff up. And uh, so we didn't get that one. That was a nice bull. That bull was a yeah, really nice 6x6, six six, fairly just decent. It wasn't huge, but good bull. Would have liked to have got that one.